Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I haven't posted a video in a really long time. But I have a good reason for it. I was on vacation. I went back to school. And for the first time, school is back to being in person. And I've just been overwhelmed and busy. And I'm also on a dance team now. There's just... <laughs> There's a lot going on that I have to push you on about. But don't trip because this month I'm going crazy. I have so many videos for you guys. Yeah, I just have mad videos for you guys. I have hair videos. I got UA videos. I got mad UA videos for you guys. So don't trip, okay? But yes, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to the blog. Today, I have another synthetic wig review for you guys. I know you guys love when I do synthetic wig reviews. So I'm going to get straight into it because I don't want to waste any time. And I'm on a time crunch as always. I'm always on a time crunch. I always got something to do. But you know, that's, that's it's what I read. It's what it is. Today's wig is called Sensational's Cloud 9 Swiss Lace Wig Wet Lace Hairline Illusion Lace Wig 100% Premium Fiber. It is 100% synthetic. Yeah, this is HD Lace. You know, I always gotta be like HD Lace because you know, safe up to 350 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. This wig was sent to me by um, Sam's Beauty. I am in partnership with them. They do sponsor some of my wig videos. They send me wigs and I do make little reviews on them. But of course, I always say this in all of my videos. I would never lie to you guys. If a wig is not good, then a wig is not good. So far, um, Sensational Cloud9 Wet Lace Wigs have been really good to me, and you guys have seen them in my previous videos. I have no complaints about them whatsoever so far. This wig is just in a new style. It was sent to me in the style of Donna. I got this in the color Flamboyant Mocha. So I'm gonna get right to it. I'm gonna show you guys what the wig looks like. Take it out the pack, it comes with, you know, standard procedure, a little card on it that tells you what the hair looks like, um, basically basic information. Um, the back has all the different colors that the wig comes in and that it is naturally plucked. So I'm gonna take the wig out and I'm gonna let you guys see what it looks like. Hairline speaks for itself. Y'all know hairline speaks for itself, literally. Like, y'all see this? Definitely give it natural, for real, for real. Give it natural. I'm just gonna install this. I'm not gonna talk through it. You guys have seen me install wigs before. You guys pretty much know how I do it. Before I install it though, I am gonna go in and try it on. 13 by six, this is what the inside of the wig looks like. I hope you guys could see it. Um, gives you a lot of parting. It's two combs on either side right here. One right here, and then another one on the other side. And then it has one at the very back right here and then another one right here in the back right below this comb it has adjustable straps right here i feel like this has like a good amount of room if you have big head a bigger head this will definitely fit if you have a small head this will definitely fit as well it has adjustable straps for people like you and i because i do have a small head i wouldn't be able to wear this glueless without tightening the straps in the back because anybody could just yag on me and this whole shit would just come right off. I think it would fit a wide range of head sizes. So if you feel like your head might be too big or too small, I feel like this wig is definitely accommodatable. Accommodable? I feel like this wig is definitely, what's the word? It, it will definitely accommodate to your needs. You know what's crazy? Mad people just begin on my case about, I haven't posted videos lately. And I didn't know that I meant so much to you guys. Like, I didn't know that you guys were watching my posts. And you guys do. You guys watch my posts. And I see it. And I'm going to do better, I promise.
Y'all see this little white crust right here? You don't want it to look like this. You don't want it to look like this. You want it to look like this. This right here is good. This right here is bad. So what we do, we hold it. Scrape in, all of it should come off pretty easy.
my brush is going through the hair really good really not really tingles more like little knots but like my brush can go through them pretty easily so i'm not upset about it um wow this hair looks really good actually i'm gonna get a part going just because like why not i don't know which side i'm gonna do my part on though i'm gonna do it on the side i'm gonna do it like right here Sick it, I said anything, y'all. This is gonna be my part. I like this. I'm gonna brush through it. Yo, this happens to me every time, bro. Everything melts but my sideburns. Like, every time. It, it may look melted, but look, when I turn, it's not. And it's always my sideburns. Always, always, always. It makes me um, sometimes consider cutting off my sideburns like shaving it shaving it down but um i don't know because when i wear my real hair i swoop my sideburns with my edge when i do my baby hairs on my edges i swoop my sideburns so uh yeah i don't know because i feel like my hair would not be the same if i did my natural hair and i didn't have my sideburns but this is giving you know what's crazy I wanted to save this wig for Halloween and for homecoming, but um, I I can't. Like, Santa's Beauty sent this wig to me a minute ago, and I don't want to keep them waiting too long for a video. I don't want to think, like, no, I'm not about business, but I am. I just had a special occasion saved for it. So my plan is probably just to wear this wig for, like, a week and then take it off and then re-wear it. <laughs> when um, homecoming, the end of the month comes around, which is, it's fine. I do that all the time, it's not a big deal. I always take off my wigs like a week apart because people are always sending me wigs. But um, it's not really how I wanted to do it, but I mean, I guess, fuck it. It is what it is, it is what it is. So yeah, let me stop talking. Thank <laughs> you. Alright guys, this is the final look, the final product. What do you guys think? How'd I do? Did I body or show what? Y'all don't mind my, my sideburns. Now at this point, 
just know that my side brothers is never gonna never gonna be late, okay? Never. Never. But um hair is soft, no smell, no shedding, no tingling so far. Um thumbs up. Ten out of ten. Hairline was nicely plucked. Um the lace really thin. As you can see, really easy to blend into my skin. Look at this, guys. Now, y'all know I ain't airing your taste, so you know it's not going to be perfect. But I think I did a pretty good job, okay? Edges, nice too, or whatever. Um, really flowy. It has movement to it, to it so the hair moves. Um, when I do the side part... Um, when I do a side part, you guys do see this little blonde hair. It's like this one peekable little streak of blonde, which I find so cute. It gives the hair a pop to me because I feel like um, instead of it all just being this one brown color, it has like this little sneak attack in there that you don't see unless you like really push your head to the front. When you push your head to the back, um, I don't think you really see it. I'm not sure. Um, some of, in some of my last video videos, why am I stuttering right now? Okay. In some of my last video, in some of my last videos, you guys asked me if the tracks showed in the back of the wig. You guys said that a lot of synthetic wigs, especially like what lace sensational or whatever outshare, whatever the case may be, the tracks show in the back because the hair is too thin and the tracks are very far apart. Um, no tracks, no sense, no tracks showing. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what the top of my head looks like. Um, I hope you guys can see it. I can't see what you guys are looking at. Obviously, I'm facing away from the camera. But no tracks. Moving my head, no tracks. Um, no tracks. So I don't think that's something you have to worry about. Um, I also think it might be the, the method in which some people choose to install their hair or the method in which some people choose to lay their parting or whatever the case may be. This wig, no parts. I mean, no tracks showing. None of that. All thumbs up. Um, this wig is thumbs up for me. You guys, go get this wig. Seriously, go get this wig. Link for everything will be in the description box and down below. Um, I got this wig from Sam's Beauty. Go get this wig from Sam's Beauty, you guys. This wig is like, what, $50, $52 plus shipping, like $55. Definitely worth it because you guys do know an HD lace human hair wig this length around this length what would this be like 20 22 um you guys see it comes all the way down here 2022 would cost you around 300 dollars maybe more please save y'all pockets save y'all money i'm putting y'all on go get this big um yeah if you guys have any questions um, you guys could comment, you guys could DM me, you guys have DM me before, and I must say, it is so surprising to me that people are really DMing me, like, that's crazy, I remember when I first started doing YouTube, like, nobody knew me, now you guys are DMing me, telling me you guys love my videos, one time I was on campus, somebody came up to me, she was like, I love your YouTube, and I was like, you see my YouTube, like, no way, I can't believe this, like, it's been such a long journey. I've been feeding for this. I got monetized. I have over a thousand, 1.5 subscribers. I'm getting views. 40,000 going on 50,000 views. I can't believe that. I really can't. I would like to thank all of y'all. I really do. I love y'all. I do. I love y'all. If y'all want on campus, if y'all go to UA, hit me up. We can chill. We can make some content. But that's a video though. Link for this hair will be in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, I'm here to service you. I'm here to please you, baby. And yeah, follow me on Instagram at heyhey.seph. Add me on Twitter at I am Stephanie. You can add me on Snapchat. I don't really use Snap though, but it's hipstar200. And yeah, more consistent videos will be coming up and thank you guys for supporting me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye